the name itself is obviously very provocative and absolutely wonderful. Um, how did you came up with that? What was the what was the genesis of that title? I came across a research paper from Oxford University. What this study shows is that they've followed a group of middle aged and elderly people over five years. They've um, noted what they eat. They've done blood tests to look at various markers, and they've done brain scans at the beginning and end. So vegans in this study had the most brain atrophy. The vegetarians next, and the meat eaters the least. So these are the authors of the new book Why Vegans Have Smaller Brains, and of According to them, the title of the book came from a 2008 study that apparently showed that older vegans had more brain atrophy or shrinkage compared to meat eaters. But the study didn't actually show that at all. In fact, they didn't look at people's diets like she claimed they did, and the words vegan or vegetarian aren't mentioned even once. Instead, they looked at markers of vitamin B12 status and found that those with lower levels had more brain atrophy than those with higher levels over time. And if that is, in fact, a cause and effect relationship, it's possible that it could apply to vegans who don't supplement B12, but in 2025, it's pretty common knowledge to supplement. And perhaps the cherry on top is that supplemental sources of B12 raise B12 levels more than the B12 from meat. So by their own logic, wouldn't that mean that those who supplement B12 would wind up with larger brains than those who rely on meat for B12? While you ponder that, let's see how Anthony Chafee responds. I, I, uh, I actually refer to that study, um, I'm sorry, the 2008. Do you know it? I do. Yeah. If there's one that yes. I think of as 2008. Yeah. Yes, that's so, it. Yeah. yeah. So he appears to be aware of the study, but never went on to correct them about the fact that they didn't look at diet at all. But even more shocking is the fact that he said he often cites the study because I was under the impression he doesn't care about studies. You know, oh, but I have a study. Fuck your study. I don't give a right. shit. Hmm. This seems like another case of carnivores or anti-vegans citing and misrepresenting studies when they think it suits their bias, even though they're quick to throw out studies when they just don't like the results. But I guess that's a lot easier than actually critically evaluating the research. 